Hello and welcome to another Hyrule Warriors video. I know what you're thinking. I already did Zant, but as I promised, I'll do all the 8-bit weapons and Zant just happens to get an 8-bit weapon in the name of the 8-bit magical boomerang. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this because I don't like playing as Zant. But anyway, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this gameplay footage of Zant with his 8-bit boomerang. Magical boomerang, by the way. And here we go, right off the bat, they throw me in here. Oh, why did I pick Zant? Because I said I hate playing as him, and I wanted to get him out of the way first. Anyway, this mission is slightly different from the other missions I've been randomly doing. You see, this mission here is one of the um, reward map missions. This is the uh, True Partners mission, which you go around, pick one partner between Midnight, Lana, Impa, Fi, or Zelda. You pick one of them, and then you just do the rest of the mission with them, kind of. But this mission is also a good mission, once you unlock it, to level up characters. Because if you don't have any DLC, this is one of the best missions to level up a character. And it also gives you the most rupees that I've seen, unless you get the rupee glitch. But basically what you want to do, I'm going to let you in on a secret if you don't already know this. Just muck around for five minutes. Five minutes is all you need. How can you tell when five minutes is up? Well, you just press the pause menu. Or you just press pause, go to the menu, and you'll see in the corner there five minutes. But I'm not going to do that right now. And when you do that, after five minutes have passed, you want to go to the middle area, or basically go where Midna is. Select Midna as your partner. And once you do, every other, like, character that, well... Whoever you don't select, you fight them. So once you pick Midna, because she'll have the most health out of everyone, everybody else will have like a slither of health left. And once that happens, they're basically easy pickings. Yeah, it's that easy. Make sure you go in, a, in here too with a um, like an experience plus on your um, weapon too to get slightly more experience. Oh yeah, you're just going to see me right now. Do this for a good five minutes, hopefully. I'll grab that, grab that. Yeah, it's always good. Yep. And this is Ant. 8-bit boomerangs. 8-bit magical boomerangs. Not much different from his other weapons, but... Or I should say his other weapon, but... You know, I promised myself I wanted to do more Hyrule Warrior videos. I put up 8-bit weapons. And so I'm going to do the rest of the character 8-bit weapons. That is until um, the new DLC comes out, which should be sometime this month. When? I don't know. I think it's, yeah, it's called the Majora's Mask. And uh, I'm going to call it now. This is, air, this is being recorded before anything's announced. I'm going to say the two new characters, because there's supposed to be two new characters. I want to say it's going to be Tingle and Skull Kid. I might be wrong. I might be right too. That's my prediction for the two new characters because for some reason Hyrule Warriors Tingle didn't make an appearance at all and I get a feeling they're gonna use him as a playable character as like the mighty joke character. Anyway, what am I doing? Has it been five minutes yet? Hold on. I'm gonna pause the game and I'm gonna edit it out. Give me a minute here. It's only been three and a half minutes. Huh. <laughs> I'll track time quickly. Um, yeah, let's beat up the raid captain here. Let's uh, get my uh, what do you call it, meter built up here for Zant. Stompy stomp. All right. The reason why I chose to do Zant first for these remaining 8-bit weapons, as I said, I hate Zant. I hate playing as him. I hate everything about him. I mean, he was okay in Twilight Princess, but... Other than that, I wanted to get him out of the way as soon as possible. Never want to touch this character again unless he gets a new weapon. Which technically this 8-bit magical boomerang doesn't count. But hey, at least you get to see his cool new costume that you get for doing the Twilight Princess um, DLC map. Uh, what do you call their mission with him? Alright, how long has it been now? You know what? I'm just going to go do it.
And we're gonna see a lot of character intros, just so you know. Well, let's go save Midna, get her on our team. Speaking of Midna, that's gonna be a waste to do for the next video. <laughs> you selected Midna as your ally. Yay! Midna has become your ally. Huzzah! Looks like you're having some trouble. Step aside! Sorry. I don't want to make Midna sound like a doofus. Mission successful. Yay. The warriors you rejected have become your enemies. Now they're all going to come towards me except for one. I believe Zelda just tries to go towards Link. In which Link is your first partner technically. <laughs> but you can't pick him as a partner. He basically defends the allied base. Basically once you get rid of everybody, you fight Dark Link. That's this mission in a nutshell. See all those little red dots coming towards me? How about we go towards them instead? Yeah, come at me. Who's first? It's usually Impa. Let's see. No, Agatha. Boy, she seems happy. <laughs> Alright, Agatha. Let's see, look how much life she has left. Oh. Ah, Impa. Now you're here. That's good. Impa has a cool intro. How dare you slice the clocks from Chrono Trigger. What's the matter with you? Hmm. Yeah, look at, look at how much life they all have now. Impa, easy pickings. Look at that. Oh, what are you doing, Agatha? You stupid bug. Yep, guess what? You're pretty much dead to... Oh, no, wait. Agatha has an immunity to um, Zant, I believe. But this might do it. Nope. Not enough. Oh, who's here? Oh, Fi! How you doing? Why don't I skip the character intros? Well, I don't know. Maybe because people want to see them. Even though I just talked over them. Oh, who's here? Ah, Lana! She pissed. Fi should go down quickly. Up oh, there goes Fi. Is it Alana? Where's Agatha? There she is. All right, let's drop the ball on Agatha here. Zelda's probably gonna get killed off by one of the enemies if I don't get up there quickly enough. Shoot Agatha, death. Agatha's dead. Alana's still alive. I'll take that weapon though. Yoink. All right, come on, Lana. Look out. But also, um, those of you wondering, when you unlock the reward map missions, it doesn't matter the rank that you get on them. You, you'll still unlock the, um, oh, look, Minda's here to help. You'll still unlock the, um, special Link tunics, no matter what, like, um, what do you call there, rank you get. But as always, we got to try for that A rank. Zelda's trying to take over one of my keeps that I already took over. Give me that. <laughs> I'm coming, Zelda. I'm coming to get you. Oh, wait. We get to see Zelda's intro, too. <laughs> you know what's funny? I just noticed with this info, I mean, intro. She was covering up her cleavage the whole time, and then when she, like, puts her hands down, it's just like, boing. Oh, look at that. Zelda's dead. Gee. That sure was an easy mission. <laughs> I defeated the enemy captains. Oh! You know what else is pretty funny? I'm not sure if I mentioned this in another video, but, um... They'll sometimes make a, um, Dynasty Warriors reference in this game. I know, because it's from the creators, right? But I'm like, the Runia, and I think Rudo, that those are the only two I've seen. They'll like, when you defeat like a officer or an enemy captain or whatever, they'll, they'll say that famous Dynasty Warrior line, you know, I've defeated an enemy officer. And he's like, ha, 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 you just couldn't keep your 
Dynasty Warriors references out of the game. Could you, Tecmo Koei, or whoever the hell made this game? I think it's Tecmo Koei. Yeah. Anyway, let's go capture this fairy, because I think we need the key. Let's uh, use the good key cleaning move here. Spin him right round, baby. Right round. Whew. All right, now let's uh, use his other best peak cleaning move. Stompy stomp. There we go. And the boss is here. Yay. <laughs> here he is. Oh, damn. Get this. I got to head on over. Let's select a fairy right now. Head on over to where the fairy I have to use it at. Get out of here all yeah. Fairy of lightning. Looks like more of a fairy of fire, but now. I'm, a, I'm slightly colorblind, so I don't know. No, I'm kidding. I'm not slightly colorblind. Although I I do say that a lot at my work because I have to do a lot of color code. Let's uh, just plow right through these guys. So I, I say that a lot at my job that I'm slightly colorblind, so I don't have to organize some stupid things by like color. Like, here's light blue, and here's lighter blue. And it's like, they, they look the same to me. And then I just say, you know, I'm slightly colorblind. Uh, no offense to those of you who are colorblind in real life. I mean, no disrespect. I mean, if you are colorblind, that's a shame. You get to miss out all the colors in the world. Or you just get them all mixed up. Slap hand. Look at that. Will you stop beating the hell out of me while I'm beating the hell out of your team? Let's clear this key here. I believe you're going to see Zant open up a treasure chest here. I believe i got to get the key to go fight Dark Link. Yes, there's a Dark Link in this stage. <laughs> okay, I, I captured the keep. What was the point of it? What was the point of capturing this? Is nothing? Okay, that was a complete waste of my time. I'm sorry. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a waste, because I still got to get at least 93 more kills. Because we got to get 1,200. Before anybody asks, Dark Link does not have an intro, unfortunately. He doesn't come riding in on Dark Epona. Which, yes, Dark Epona is a thing in this. You have the Dark Link outfit, you can use Epona and it becomes Dark Epona. Hmm. I know what y'all thinking. You keep uploading Hyrule Warriors videos. Why? You're, be you're pretty much beating a dead horse when you're doing this. Get it? Dead horse Epona? <laughs> no. Um. As I said, it gets the most views on my channel. And I wanted to do a video of every character, every 8-bit weapon. Don't worry. Once the last remaining DLC comes out and I unlock the weapons there, everything will be fine. There will be no more Hyrule Warriors videos on my channel unless somebody makes a request to see, like, certain things in motion. I don't know, like, because I got the, um, the DLC I wanted. Like, the Skyward Sword outfits and all that, and, yeah. So maybe if somebody wants to see Skyward Sword gameplay, just let me know. I I'll do a video. Come on, Dark Link. Show me what you got. Me and my goofy looking block animation, or guard animation, I should say. Dark Link is pretty much a pushover with Sand because Link is weak against darkness and Zant's darkness. Wee! Actually, Zant is considered Twilight. Wow! Holy smokes. Goodbye. And that's pretty much game. Alright. Ooh. Thank you. You defeated Dark Link. Yay. <laughs> Victory. Yes. So let's see Zant in this lovely outfit with his lovely magical boomerangs do that lovely victory animation, shall we? I still hate him. <laughs> I still hate playing as him. I never want to touch him again. Wow. That mission was slightly quick. Anyway, that's going to do it for Zant here with his 8-bit magical boomerangs. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Klinkeroth. Stay tuned for some more Hyrule Warriors 8-bit weapon gameplay. Thank you so much for watching.